Hey, I'm Davis Hammett with Loud Light here to explain the constitutional amendment to end the census adjustment that you're voting on this November 5th of 2019. Every 10 years, the federal census counts where every single person is on April 1st. It's how we know the real population of every place. It determines how many congressional representatives each state gets and all sorts of other important stuff. The federal census is used in its unaltered original form for almost everything, except in Kansas, the census is adjusted, meaning some people are moved or completely deleted, and that adjusted census data is only used to redistrict the state legislature. The Kansas State Legislature has 125 state representatives and 40 senators. When drawing political districts, Kansas used to give all 105 counties a state representative and divided the remaining 20 based on population. This created huge disparities. Some state legislators represented over 30 times more people than others. In the 1960s, the U.S. Supreme Court found this practice unconstitutional and ruled that political districts must have equal population. Kansas was determining that population with its own state census, which was unscientific and even deemed useless. In the 1980s, the state census was trying to adjust close to 10% of the population, including military families, prisoners, and people in nursing homes. In 1988, Kansas passed a constitutional amendment so that the state would finally use the federal census to redistrict the state legislature. But attached to that amendment was a mandate to adjust college students and military members. To do this, the Kansas Secretary of State has to spend tons of money and hundreds of hours trying to contact and survey every single person at a college or military institution in Kansas to ask where they want to be counted. The survey contradicts the federal census, which needs to know where they physically are. Kansas has done this complex, confusing census adjustment three times so far. In 1990, 143,000 people responded to the survey. 57% of them didn't want to be adjusted. In the end, about 2.5% of the entire state population was adjusted. By the third adjustment in 2010, things were increasingly falling apart as Fort Leavenworth and Fort Riley began refusing to use military resources for this state project. Ultimately, only 119,000 people responded to the survey. 67% were not adjusted, and less than 1.5% of the state population was adjusted. There were a variety of political motives that made legislators add adjustments into that original federal census amendment. Suspicion that military members would side with the executive branch. A desire to undermine youth power derived from the 26th Amendment, which had recently lowered the voting age from 21 to 18. And perhaps most of all, a fear of rural decline embodied in politicians who wanted to protect their legislative seats. However, the reality for rural areas is that these adjustments are a costly bureaucratic trade with little impact. The adjustments mostly remove as many college students from rural community colleges as they add from urban universities. The only clear impact in 2010 was that Kansas State University and the University of Kansas each lost over 11,000 people and Fort Hayes State University lost over 2,000. Ironically, the adjustment does the opposite of what was intended. While the impact is minimal, it mostly benefits urban places with the most populous place in Kansas, Johnson County, gaining 6,000 people or about 1% of their county population. Kansas is the only state in the nation that does this. The adjustment is subjective, inconsistent, and expensive. The constitutional amendment on your ballot this November 5th, 2019 is to end the census adjustment. If this amendment does not pass, it's estimated to cost nearly a million tax dollars to perform the adjustment in 2020. The amendment passed the state legislature with near unanimous bipartisan support. It's now up to you to decide. Vote no if you want to continue the adjustment. Vote yes if you want to end the adjustment. Find what else is on your ballot and where you can vote at loudlight.org vote. Thanks for liking and sharing. Your financial contributions make research and videos like this possible. If you aren't a monthly donor, please consider signing up at loudlight.org donate. Stay tuned, stay engaged, and until next time, thank you so much, Kansas.